So, here's the new feature in um, Storyboard Pro 6, whereby you can use a video layer. So, just like there is in, um, like there is, or there was, you know, the ability to add another sound layer, now you can go up to the file menu, go to uh, import video images as clips. So then you look for something. Uh, I, I don't know what I, let's see, what do I got? Okay, so uh, here, I think this is actually from, it's another stream from me, but anyway, here we go. So I can set it in a new video track and then okay. So now it's gonna import the thing in and now you'll see that look, here it is. Look at that, what a handsome fella that guy is. So now you can also move it downward so that it's behind. So watch, I can uh, move track down and see now I've got video, but I've got me behind the video, which is useful, right? So like if you're doing something where you need a, uh, you know, a dance sequence or something, you can now use that. And of course you want that handsome fella behind you in every video. So, all right, so that's cool. I'm going to delete that current track. But what else you can do is, let's say I want to, uh, turn these off. I'm going to export this. Export bitmap. Uh, I'll just put this on a desktop so I can find it really quickly. Desktop. Boom. BG. Right? BG. Uh, current panel. And okay. So now what you can also do is you can import images. So you can import video images as clips. And then uh, you can also take, well actually, so what I'm gonna do is a new video, right? And oh, I can't do that because it's looking for a file. Uh, okay, why is it not letting me do that? <laughs> Oh, because I actually have to load something. Right, that's why. So there. All right, so now I'm selecting that BG, and it's going to say OK. And then now that BG will come in as an underlay. So let's move it down. And now it's there, and it'll stay there as long as I want. So let's say I hide this, this BG here on this on this layer. So now you'll see that here, it, it doesn't cover here, so I do not have a BG there, but it shows up underneath here. So you can use this now to fill in a BG. So now you no longer have to put a BG on every stupid frickin' layer. Now you can just have it there. See that? Isn't that cool? Oh, see, I turned him off as well, but Either way, so you get an idea how valuable this stuff can be now. Now we've really got the ability to to not worry about a damn background in every single background and every single uh, panel. The other thing that you can do with this, as I was figuring this out, is that let's say uh, I don't have this set up, but let's say that I want to do something like a dance sequence. I can have a character be in a dance sequence now, and I can export that out as a quick time and then put it behind here. So, like, I don't know. I'll, I'll do that really quickly just to have something to point out. Here, I'll do a new scene. Uh, new, new scene. Okay. So, if I just do something simple like a dance...
Yeah, I know, I know. It's taking me a little bit of time to do this, but I think you see where it's going. So if I just take this and let's just, I'll just duplicate this panel and then I'll just flop him just to demonstrate what I'm talking about. That long layer. And then we'll register him so that he's doing this. Okay, so now, now what all I basically got is this guy doing that, right? But now I can export this scene. I don't know, I wanna have, <laughs> add one more panel. I, you guys are a captive audience, so you have no choice. I suppose you don't have to watch, so you could leave right now, but, but you are watching. And oh, incidentally, I don't know if you guys know about this, but, um, you can copy something by just lassoing it and holding down the control and option keys and dragging and it will duplicate whatever is on the timeline whatever you have selected so there we go so now i've got now i got another guy dancing all right so so this is what i'm going to do if i want to i can export this panel Let's see what is it it's eight frames yeah that'll be good so I'll export this as a quick time uh, dance full size. Yes, definitely current scene. Where are you going to put it? Not there. Right, we'll put it on the desktop again. Export. Okay. So now I can go and I can take this BG or this character and I can put him like in this scene dancing the whole time. So let me import him, import video images as clips, go to the desktop, find that dance file, select it, bring it in, current video track, fill in next available frames, and bam. So now, uh, he's underneath hold on so in this case i would need to move track up so now he's there oh see that's interesting oh you know why i know why it's because this thing is a uh this is a jpeg if it wasn't a jpeg he would be there the whole time i don't know can i yeah and i can duplicate it too or i can drag it now you can't so you'd have to figure out exactly how to do it. Can I copy it and paste it? Yeah, I can. So see, I can just have this guy in the background and then I can, for this background, I can do another one where there's another guy dancing. I wonder, can I resize it? No, you can't because it doesn't really exist, but it's still pretty cool. So now I could do another one. And then, so if you have this big long ass dance sequence, you don't have to figure out how to make that work by you know by planning it and whatnot you can time it out just right and it works out nicely and then so now i can i can duplicate this thing and have him dancing as well in the background and i could add five layers of dancing people if i want to resize it all anyway that's pretty cool we get right down to it if i split this see so i can actually still split all this stuff and i can flip him and then now you'll see that now I got two guys dancing is that anyway isn't that cool so there you go the brand new import uh what is it import video images as clips you can find that on our file import and then import the files it works pretty well it's pretty damn cool I gotta say uh I'm a fan so there you go Take care, guys. Bye.